Yo, what is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm excited to bring you guys my review on the Meta Front End Developer Professional Certification offered by Coursera and Meta. To get the video started, I'd like to give you guys sort of an overview of the course and also uh, the job landscape for a front end developer. Now, as you guys know, this course was recently released by Meta. Um, however, it's starting to gain really good popularity and traction within the community, mainly because of the fact that it's mainly geared towards people who are entry level who don't have any experience in the front end or back end developing. Um, and after this course, you should be able to have the skills equipped um, in order to be able to perform in an entry level position um, and also interview for an entry level front end developer position as well. And as you guys know, technology jobs have been in really high demand ever since they were really created. But as of right now, since technology is becoming more and more a part of our lives, uh, these developer jobs are going to continue to be in high demand. For example, a front-end developer job is expected to grow by 22% in demand by 2030. This goes to show that people are really in need for front-end developers, for quality front-end developers, and that need is going to continue to grow in the future as well. In 2020, so about two years ago, there were 1.8 million job openings for developer roles in the U.S. alone. That just goes to show that in 2020, two years ago, there was an extremely high demand. Um, two years later, there's going to be even higher demand. So if you're looking to get into developing or front end developing right now, you are literally watching this video at the perfect time right now to get into it um, and learn more. Now, just to add fuel to the fire, according to a survey from Coding Game and CoderPad, about 50% of technical recruiters have found that they have a difficult time of finding qualified candidates for developer roles. Now that just goes to show that there's a low supply of quality front end developers, which really opens up the floor to people like you who are looking to get into the industry and become a professional in front end developing. Before we go ahead and get into the rest of the video, if you're interested in taking this course at all, go ahead and click the link in the description below. It'll take you directly to the webpage for this course. It'll also help out my channel as well. Uh, with that being said though, let's go ahead and get into the rest of the video and talk about what you should be expecting to learn in this course. So the first thing I wanna talk about is how much this course costs to take. So this course is gonna be charged on a monthly basis. It's gonna be $49 per month and it solely depends on how long you take to complete the entire course. Now, for example, Coursera says that this course takes around eight months or so to complete uh, depending on how many hours you take. So over eight months is sort of the average for this course. But the main benefit for taking a course like this is because of the fact that it's an online course and you can really tailor this course um, around your own schedule. For example, if you wanted to finish the course uh, sooner than eight months, let's say three, four months, you can absolutely do so. You just got to put in more hours and study more um, and you should be able to finish the course in three, four months and you'll pay less money um, within that window. Now, the one tip I would have for you when studying this course is to do it every single day, whether it be a little bit or a lot. The reason why I say that is because even if you watch just one video or you read up on just one module every single day, um, you'll be able to sort of compound that information and really retain that information throughout the entire course. Now that we know the cost of the entire course, let's go ahead and jump inside the course and see exactly how this course is broken up and what we should be able to learn from taking this course. So the Meta Front End Developer Professional Certificate is broken up into nine different courses. The first one is going to be called the Introduction to Front End Development. This is pretty much where they'll give you a baseline overview of what exactly front end development is and what exactly you'll be doing on a day to day basis. In course two, we have Programming with JavaScript. Uh, this is pretty much where they give you a baseline knowledge of JavaScript and what exactly it does within web development. Um, next, we have Version Control. This is pretty much how you'll learn how to communicate with other developers and how to sort of manage a project. Next up, we have HTML and CSS. These are important languages that you need to learn in order to uh, know how to build out an attractive web page. Um, so this is really an important part of the course that I really enjoyed as well. Next up, we have React Basics. Um, this is pretty much learning how to build a UI uh, on a web and also a mobile um, application basis. Um, this is actually a really interesting course because I also was interested in design, uh, UX design. So React Basics was probably uh, one of my favorite parts of this course as well. Uh, next up, we have Advanced React. This is sort of diving a little bit deeper and learning a couple different concepts and components within React. Um, so this is sort of going a little bit deeper um, on top of course five. Course seven is Principles of UX, uh, UI UX Design. Uh, this one was also really appealing to me because of my, my background in design. 
um, you sort of learn the fundamentals of, of UX design and how to for, sort of position things, how to make it attractive and how to make it usable at the end of the day. Next up, we have course eight, uh, the front end developer capstone. This is sort of like a project that you do similar to, you know, the ones in college where you have to create a capstone project um, to really demonstrate and practice the skills that you've learned throughout the, you know, the previous courses. Um, this is a really good opportunity for you to be able to complete, um, really start your portfolio when it comes to front end developing that you'll also be able to use um, to really show the recruiters that, you know, you put your, your skills into practice um, and you can bring that, bring those skills um, to the job itself. Uh, next up, we have course nine. Uh, this is really interesting uh, because it's my first time seeing this in a Coursera course, but this is the coding interview preparation. Um, a lot of times, uh, coding interviews can really be technical um, and sometimes they can really stump people. So having this coding interview preparation is going to be something that is extremely important, especially uh, towards the end of the course when you're looking to apply for entry level positions. Um, this is an ex excellent resource to have. If you partner up your course eight and your course nine, uh, you should be extremely prepared for a front end developer interview. Now, as you guys can tell, this course is relatively big. There are going to be nine different courses and they each go relatively in depth. Um, they're in video format. You can also read. Um, but after each of these modules, there's going to be sort of a practice test that you can also use to apply your skills and really test your knowledge. So to kind of sum up the entire video, I'm going to give you guys sort of a, a condensed overview of what exactly I learned from taking this course. So the main takeaways that I got from this course was being able to learn HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and how to use those languages to really build an attractive and usable web interface. Now, in addition to learning these coding languages and learning how to build out a web application, I also learned how to design them as well. So this includes using platforms like Bootstrap, React, and Figma as well. You're sort of getting a good, well-rounded knowledge on how to even start off and, and wireframe and build out sort of a design, and then also going into the, the dirty work and learning how to build out your design as well. Overall though, I think this course is extremely well-rounded when it comes to looking into becoming a front-end web developer. When it comes to the actual technical skills that you'll be able to learn, like the HTML, CSS, uh, JavaScript, when it comes to the design implementation of the web page itself, um, and also when it comes to uh, building out an actual web page for the Capstone project, learning how to explain and really market yourself when it comes to a technical interview, this course is extremely well-rounded and really I recommend it for people who are looking to get into the industry, who are looking to learn more, um, but also for someone who is currently already in a front-end developer industry, uh, looking to really expand their skills and really brush up on the, uh, the fundamental skills needed to be a quality front-end developer. All in all though, I highly recommend you guys take this course if you're interested in getting into the front-end developer industry. Um, it really helped me personally. I learned a ton of information from this course. Uh, with that being said though, if you're interested in taking this course, uh, go ahead and use the link in the description below. It helps out my channel as well, and it will take you directly to the Coursera webpage. That being said though, hopefully you guys found a lot of value in this video. Hopefully you enjoyed watching it. With that being said though, guys, stay tuned for the next video and thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Uh, peace.